Hey yo, what's good people? O Styles in the building, back at it with another video. So today, it's a very happy day for me, okay? I paid off this loan, finally. My goodness gracious, man, this took a lot. This took some time. I had this loan since September of 2022, and it's now April of 2023, finally got it paid off in full now yeah it, this was the original amount okay and before i get too deep into it let me just say this fairstone financial is a large corporation a canadian corporation that deals with high interest loans commercial and personal so if you're in need of a loan you need money right away, no questions really asked. You can visit one of their many branches all across Canada, and you can also hit them up online as well too, or by phone. So this is actually the second time I've had a loan from these guys. The first time I had a loan, I got the loan paid off. Uh, check out some of my earlier videos to see how I got them paid off. Or I got the first loan paid off, but yeah, back at it again. Same exact process. So what I had to end up doing was consolidating this particular loan. Okay. Th three reasons. Three reasons. And also before I forget, my name is Old Styles. If you don't know, on this channel, I talk about finance and you might see me on a beach somewhere. That's it. Okay. So, and I like to talk about Liz Cam Beach. Okay. <laughs> Going forward now. This particular loan, okay, I had to consolidate it. Three reasons. Reason number one, I got an NSF fee back in September because when I opened up the loan, I explained to the uh, customer service representative that I would like to please have the payment come out of my account on the 29th of the month. Customer service rep said no problem. What ended up happening? You guessed it. Payment came out on the 21st, got an NSF fee. I don't like NSF fees. Strike one. Strike two. Every single time I sign into this account, I see how much interest I'm being charged and see how much principal I'm paying on my monthly payment. It hurts. Had to get this out of here right away. Got strike two. Strike three, final straw that broke the camel's back. I made a lump sum payment, okay? And when I looked at the breakdown of that lump sum payment, it was principal and interest didn't equal the amount that I paid. It was missing almost, uh, I'll say about 300 bucks. And after calling and calling and calling, my, my favorite representative at this place ends up that he couldn't tell me why. He couldn't give me a straight answer. Had to call the head office. Head office gave me the answer that I already knew, right? It was because of that NSF fee. That's pretty much why I had to, I guess my my ledger was off or whatever the case may be. So they took that payment to recoup from that payment that I missed back in October. Okay, so they didn't take two payments in November. They just took regular payment in uh, November and didn't take anything from October. So they made up for it. That's it. Bottom line is, I didn't like that. Three strikes, you're out. So I went right back into my super savings account, mixed that up with another financing company, which is this company right here, Consumer Capital Canada. Yes, I'm back. So I got a smaller loan with them, Consumer Capital, at a lower interest rate. Fairstone's interest rate was at 39%. They, Consumer, advertises their loans to be at 19%, but they need to update it. Like the girl told me, she said it needs to be updated because it's actually 29%. So still a bad interest rate, but 39% versus 29%. Let's do some math here. My payment for Fairstone was about $290 per month. My payment for consumer capital is uh, I'm almost ha about half of that. It's about a hundred and fifty bucks, give or take, hundred and forty nine dollars a month, right? 
So just 10% of interest can free up almost $150 per month like it's done for me. So people, always, always, always look to try to consolidate your loans. And of course, pay them off in full. Yes, as fast as possible. Okay, so I had to leverage again some of my work savings and then I had to leverage consumer capital. But my highest, my highest loan, my loan with the highest amount owing and the highest interest rate is now, it's gone. So I'm happy. It's a joyous day. Okay, so consumer capital, very similar to Fairstone, but they give better interest rates. Another alternate lender. Um, very easy to get a loan. You just need some ID. You can do, you can use your loan for whatever. This is what I used it for to consolidate debt. And uh, a lot of people do it. Let's see some of the uh, reviews. I would not recommend this company. I had a loan. I had a loan on a four-year term with them, and I paid it off in 1.5 years. Is that not what we're talking about, people? That's what we're talking about. That's what people do. Smart people do that. Okay? This is a smart guy. DM, August twenty one, August 2021. Yeah, smart guy. Process is fast and easy to get the loan. However, customer service after the fact is next to impossible. 100% right, because they don't have an online platform. So when you use these guys, you have to call every single time you want to balance, pay out amount, whatever the case may be. And when you're ready to pay out, always, always, always add them as a payee within your online banking and then make the payment that way. Okay. But yeah, they have no online service. So yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of whack. And I will read one more. Loan was quick and easy to get. I was approved same day and got the money the next day since I found it hard to get any information from and it cuts off. Yes, they have no online platform. It is what it is. Okay, so yeah, Consumer Capital Canada. I'm now paying them off. Fairstone is paid off and I plan to pay all this off by the end of the year. So please follow me along my road to debt free journey and how I got into this debt. I will definitely address at a later date. I don't really feel too comfortable right now addressing all that. You know what I'm saying? But if you know, you know. So, people, once again, my name is O Styles. On this channel, we talk about finance. You might see me on the beach. If you have any questions, please hit me up on IG. Same name, the Omari Wave. Omari underscore Styles. All right. And uh, I'm out. Salute to everybody watching the videos, subscribing, liking, sending me DMs. Yeah, man, I'm here to help, man. Let's get it. Peace.